Ethan, I can marry Jared, and I'm going to marry him. No, the hell you will. Oh, thank God you and Ethan are back together. What, what, what's going on here? Well, Jared just uh, proposed and Teresa accepted. <gasps> Hallelujah. Let's break out the champagne. Look. My sweet JT. Mother, forget JT. What about his memory stick? Oh, honey, that's not the stick I'm thinking of right now. Okay, well, you should be. Because whoever has that memory stick could destroy our lives. Um, excuse us, Hanson. You know, you look about a hundred times better with that ring on your finger. Yeah, don't I, though? I'm very, very relieved. <laughs> you know, that little gold band is the best man trap ever invented. Now that it is back on your finger, Ethan will never leave you. Because uh, he's going to respect those silly little marriage vows. Mother, they're not silly, okay? Listen, trust me, he, he'll respect Teresa and Jared's vows as well. <laughs> if they get married. Well... They have to. Honey, you have got some work to do. You've got to get your man home and in bed. When he's in a state like this, there is no telling what might happen. Look, you know what? I don't like it either, but very soon it's not going to matter what Ethan says or does, because once Teresa marries Jared, she is going to be out of our lives for good. Mm. Famous last words. Mm. So, Mrs. Casey. Mm. I just love the sound of that. You know, Gwen, I don't get you. I mean, you seem so happy. I mean, Ethan is still into Teresa, and doesn't that bother you? Yeah, it does. Uh, but I know it won't last long, because I know that once Teresa marries Jared, she will finally be out of my life. Um, well, you know, I hate to be the one to break this to you, but marriage vows never stopped me, so, um, why would they, Teresa? Well... I mean, you know how strongly both Ethan and Teresa feel about marriage vows taken in church. Hey, I have nothing to worry about. Ethan's finally going to be all mine. Oh, honey, I hope you're right. Oh, I know I'm right.